Hi, I'm Anna with Ancestry DNA, and I'm excited to share with you two new tools that will help us do more with our DNA matches. These two new tools are available to any test on Ancestry, and they're called Shared Matches and Mom and Dad Filters. Now, these two new tools are going to provide us with new insights into where the connection is among our DNA matches. So, I'm going to show you how to use it how to get the most benefit out of it, and what it ultimately can do for you and discovering more about your family story. All right, now comes the fun part. You see my DNA homepage here on Ancestry. You can access these new tools by logging on to your Ancestry account and clicking on the DNA tab to get to your DNA homepage. First, I will show you the mom and dad filters. Once you click on view all matches, like I am here, it'll pull your list of cousin matches. And this list will continue to update as the database grows. If you've had a parent tested, you will notice something new on this page. At the top of the page next to the other filters, as you see here, there is a mother and father buttons. Now these are the new mom and dad filters. And how they work is if you've had a parent tested, they will populate automatically. You don't have to do anything. I've had my mom and my dad tested. That's why you see mother and father there for me. So how do they work? You click on mother and now it will pull all the matches I have shared with my mother. Same with my father. Click on father, it'll pull all the matches I have in common with my father. And if you want more information, click the question mark to have access to the help material and learn more details about shared matches. Okay, so what if you don't have a parent tested or maybe you're asking, well, I want to see my matches I have in common with other matches that I have. Well, the new shared match tool can help with that. Or perhaps you want to focus in on a particular family line. Like, I have several questions about one of my family lines, the Vaughn line. So I've had my mom's first cousin tested. I can go to her test results in my match list and click view match. And when I do that, it's going to give me an option to look at a pedigree and surname, which we're familiar with on all our other matches and maps and locations, but now we've added the new shared match tool. Click on that, and now it will pull all of the matches I have in common with Jane, this first cousin of my mother's. Now this is exciting for me because now I can kind of focus in on this Vaughn line and sort out some of these matches. Now you can see that there's only, they're only pulling fourth cousins at the moment. In fact, in this shared match feature tool, we will only pull high confidence fourth cousins in this list. So be careful that you don't make any incorrect conclusions because someone doesn't show up in your list. Just make notes and keep searching and evaluating your matches. So I've gone through each one of these matches and have added a note to each match as you can see here. You can scroll over, and depending on who they match, you can kind of organize your matches in that way. But be creative. Do it how you feel is best. But that's one way I've used the shared match tool, is by looking at a cousin I know, and I can identify where the connection is, and then going in and putting notes in all of those matches. So you can start using this tool with any one of your matches. And I highly recommend doing it in the beginning with people you've already identified a connection with. For example, my cousin Jane, I already knew how we were connected and that gave us new leads and, and new clues into how we were, I was connected with those matches we shared. Now, if you don't have a cousin tested, maybe start with your hints. Click on your hints and these hints, you've probably already identified where a possible common ancestor is. Go through each one of your hints and click on the shared matches tool to identify possible new leads and new connections on where those uh, new matches could, could connect. So this shared match tool, I think, can particularly be useful in your DNA match list, especially if your matches don't have a family tree or the tree's private. Um, you can still be able to identify which, possibly which side of the family the tree they come from. So by thinking about who else you can have tested to get the answers you need from your DNA results, you can start identifying you know, where the connection is with these matches. So get your parents tested if you can, aunts or uncles or even first cousins can all be helpful tools in narrowing down on a specific line uh, on your family tree.
and they will help you go further with your, your DNA matches. And remember, your cousin match list updates regularly, so check back often to see any new matches that you may have. And don't forget to have fun. Go and start exploring your new, your new matches in a whole new way with this new shared match tool and the mom and dad filters. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.